Okay. Uh, let's get to it. Oh, that's right, I already went to this guy's house. Took his one thing, which I think were blackberries. Oh. That's Nicholas's house. I think I'm, did I go in that one? I believe so. Don't think I've gone into this one yet. Was that the one I just. I literally just came out of this. Okay, I'm stupid. Alright. Uh, oh, is that a chest? Dude, more blackberries. Nice. I don't have any skills yet, but blackberries are good. Wait. Is the blue one the one I'm supposed to go in? Oh no, here we go. What's that? It's my treasure box. Daddy gave it to me on my birthday. That music box was passed down through our mother's family. It is the only thing we have left from our parents. But alas, it is broken now and does not make a sound. I see. this if I can get back to my pod I should be able to synthesize parts I don't think the UP3 prohibits repairing existing devices yeah this shouldn't be too hard want me to fix this for you it'll be my way of paying you back for rescuing me really? can you really do that it is an expensive music box they told us it would cost a great deal to fix it. True. With this planet's level of civilization, the parts for this wouldn't come cheap. If I can get my hands on the right parts, yes. And I think I know where to get them. It's a little ways away, but I'll go get them later. But we cannot ask you to do something like that for us. You saved my life. It's the least I can do to repay you. Still. And I'm sure that Mina wants it fixed, right? Thank you, good sir. In return, do you think I could get my sword back? I won't be able to go through the forest without it. You swear you are not with Norton and his gang? That I'm not. What, you don't believe me? Of course not, you randomly passed out in front of the village. Thanks. But be wary. If you are not one of Norton's gang, you will be in even more danger outside the village. I know. I'll be fine. Hey, do I have to equip it? Or does it just auto-equipped? Yep. Cool. All right, I have an understanding of where I need to go. What was in here? A doctor, okay. That told me to leave. Cool things. This one's green. Why is this one green? Oh dude, it's a shop. Nice. Don't have the money. Okay, so I can buy armor from here. I get a little bit more money. Nothing to heal myself though, so I think I'll buy two healing items. Just in case. Alright, let's go back to the ship.
Try and get this in price to get some money. Hey, leveled up. There's a lot of really random little divots and stuff in this forest. They don't seem to have really any rhyme or reason to them. That's cool, I guess. Wait. Okay. Slime ball. Does it cost MP? No. I wonder if he learns any sort of magic. Maybe that's why he's such a low MP bar. Hey, it's the random guy who runs away from stuff. I think I'm going to get a lot of money from doing this. Oh, where was the ship? It's like up here and... Fine. Where is it? There it is. Ten consecutive killing blows. I'm the only character in the party. Of course, I'm going to get ten in a row. Okay. What? Someone fucked up his escape pod. Pod's parts and equipment have been stripped. I mean, you didn't really do a good job of There's hiding no it. way the inhabitants of this planet know what this stuff is. It makes sense if they just smashed it up. You know what that means. There'd be evil afoot. Cool beans, quick save arena. So it's probably whoever this Norton guy is, right? That's what it would have us believe. Oh, there's nothing that way. It's not... The analog controls kind of make it a bit janky when you want to try and walk around. Got him. 
We're getting like six bucks per fight. It's really not even worth it. We get like one experience point in six bucks. They're still baffing about. I assume they're part of the gang. I don't really remember, but it would make sense because they're just kind of rude and hanging about being bastards. Um, the blue one was like a doctor or something, right? Free full heal? Is that a free full heal? Yo. She is mad about me being here. Uh, is it this one? Yep. Hey. Hello there. What a relief! You are well. Uh, in the start of the game, he walks into a, like a place where circus performers are preparing, and a little girl walks over and goes, "Oh, you want my fan? You want an autograph?" She just Your draws in the back of his fucking shirt, and he goes, "Actually, no. I'm just kind of lost walking around." She's like, "Oh, I guess I haven't performed yet, so that makes sense." And he's like, "What the fuck?" Nicholas, could you please tell me more about Norton and his gang? Who are they? What are you doing, man? I do not know everything myself. <laughs> he... Norton appeared suddenly in our village about half a year past. He ordered the village Why? to supply him with food. Of course, we refused at first. The village needs its supplies to survive the harsh winter. Norton was in fact ordering the village to die. But when people refused him... He called upon this mysterious light. Oh, yeah. And those it touched disappeared. Is it the tonsil the one? Oh, no, for the E thing. To stop it from getting sick, right? Car, Siren. Of course we or is that just because she's, like, deaf he said in, like, he one ear or something? Disappearing into... Now some of the villagers have even joined Norton's gang. And the tonsil thing. <laughs> yeah, that's so when, when it was brought up, like, four things got said at the same time, so I couldn't remember which one was which. Yeah. <laughs> first met me you asked me about ah yes but yeah no that's fair wore clothes made out of a strange material is it like a major surgery or is it a pretty minor surgery just like the clothes you wear and his ears were shaped like yours that is why i did not trust you at first i apologize don't worry about it that's good Yeah. It's probably something they do on a regular basis. Is something the matter? It's nothing. I was just thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, thinking isn't going to help anything either. He may be dangerous, but I'd better go meet this Norton guy. We might even find a way off this planet. Sorry, but it's going to take me a little more time to fix your music box. Can you wait just a little longer? Orange, oh, crack my neck. That thing Norton's gang carried off, did it belong to you? No, I thought it might be, but it wasn't. Don't worry. I'll fix your music box. And we'll fix that gang too. Go beat the shit out of them. Nicholas, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Ah, yes. Very well. Let us eat. Didn't realize the sound was so quiet. No. Thing for everybody. Turned it up a little bit now. <sighs> yeah.
are you going to do all week outside of just hanging out with your kid? Yeah, fair. <laughs> Is um uh Molly at the same they have the time up as well? These guys are gone. Nice. The music's pretty pumped. Oops, I don't want to get this finished yet. Okay, so that goes to two. Where does this way go? Just away. Hey, enemies. Oh, a real fight. Want some? <laughs> oh. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Oh wow, two experience. Still not really worth it. Experience at eight dollars. Mm. Dude, I'm feeling rich. Why did that change that way? Can I get that chest? Yeah. Rife berries, okay. Oh, the frames drop a lot in this version of the game. Maybe they drop in the normal version too. I don't really remember. They're dropping a lot now. There's something in here? I mean, he's standing perfectly still the door, so I'm gonna assume so. Berries. Oh, another thing. Blackberries. I'm getting a lot of healing and MP restorative items when I don't use MP, which is kind of funny. Aquabarians, they're poison healing, right? Come 
mushroom creature. Oh, chest. Uh, there we go. You fight with the movement control in this game a lot. Like it's very slippy slidey. I see that's another area, yep. Find the mushroom monster and see how we go. Real fight. Yeah. of fury. Yeah. of fury. Yeah. Cool. Much better. Another area to go through. Another chest up there. Real fight. What do you think you're doing? What's up? What do you think you're doing? Blade of Fury. What do you think you're doing? What's up? Guy with like the hat is super annoying. Please, if you'll only spare my life. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what he's supposed to be. All he does is like go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Super annoying. Watch it. Oh man. I should really heal a little bit. That was easy. Five experience, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, did I get a skill point? I have two SP. I need five for that. This is... Okay. Oh, okay, apparently I ran into that guy. Oh god, apparently I ran backwards into that guy. Oh, I have no fury. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, what's up? Blade of fury! Okay. Oh god, he fell over and blocked my attack. There we go. He has a handgun, but he never seems to use it. I think I've seen those guys attack once. I think any of them. Nothing. This area is pretty big. Hey. Chance for coming through percent of maximum HP and one HP damage. Yeah. Since we're coming 20% of, of maximum HP now when HP damage is taken. So ran it's, I can randomly gain 20% of my health back just from being hit. That's pretty cool. Um, 
Patriot Buff? No, I want Attack. I don't know. I'll save it. Oh, there's a 5. So, so far I've got a 2 and a 5. I'm not sure if that comes into play later on. It may do. Okay, so that leads back. Alright. So 2. 5 in that one. Alright, look for red numbers on walls, huh? Doing a quick lap just to make sure I didn't miss any numbers on walls. I haven't gone this way yet. This looks like the way to go. It was fun to just beat up an old man. Two, five, six. Moving around this side. Make sure. Oh, these guys. Who are you, kid? What do you want? This is Lord Norton's turf, so beat it or else. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here. A little boy? Oh, you mean Nicholas. Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Gee Norton. Me. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. What? It's the kid's own fault. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry, he'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. You rotten little... Whoa there! Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? Oh, Wanna virus. see that brat? You gotta beat us oh, that's first. Oh. Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. Alright. This might be rough. Oh, a real fight! Oh. 
There we go. 89 experience, that's good. That's more of what I wanted from this whole time. <laughs> A little twitchy foot. <laughs> So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him. So wait. Like I get that I'm supposed to go find Nicholas when I'm right. But like what was the point of all the numbers? Does that mean something? When I'm supposed to go here. Nope. Have a quick a little explore around everywhere else to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't know what that does, but press save. Coins. Experience, good. How much money do I have now? Cool. Did I want to run back to town and get equipment? I feel like I'll get... Oh, okay. I feel like I'll find equipment like that, but I don't really care. This guy just yells the whole time. There we go, straight through his skull. The wailing fat fuck. Um, is there nothing else? Like through, no. Oh. Real fight. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Want some? Yeah. A fury. Cool. This also isn't missing a lot of the map. I'm gonna. I'm feeling I've not gone everywhere. Yet. Is there anywhere else this way? Let's just slide across to a thing, right? Yeah. Can I look at the map from like a large perspective? No, I don't like it. I do need to heal a little bit though. Yeah, this leads back to the start. Is there another way to go? Is there a way up the No. Okay, that must have been the way. Alright. We got two, five, six. Out of the numbers around as well. I hope that comes up. I don't want any point. I feel like three numbers is a bit short, it's usually four, but I might want to heal before I go down, actually. Oh, that's pretty good. 
That'd be good for now. Oh, actually, no, I got new skills too, didn't I? Anti air attack. Okay. Alright, I have enough points to equip both. Blaze of Fury does a combo, so I'm gonna keep Blaze of Fury. Ooh, Skeleton. I gotta find the Skeleton. Oh shit. Oh. Damn, they hit pretty hard, this Skeleton. Maybe I should have gone back and bought the armor. Alright, what did I just pick up? Oh, okay. There was a skeleton there. Oh god. Oh. Oh, backflip kick, nice. The skeletons are no joke, dude. Maybe I really should have gone back to the defense buff. Hmm. So this Norton guy's an off-worlder too. Oh, I need to readjust how I'm sitting. Doing here. Really good trap here, same as you, dude. That's sweet, but it's safe point. Oh. I'm gonna get three chances to make three mistakes. Two, five, six. Okay, so that's what the number was for. All right, everything's come together. Uh, do a quick save arena. We should fight more skeletons. Point out the attack. Oh god, they're chaining. I did get one proc of first aid though, that was pretty cool. I'm 
I'm assuming this is the door that opened. Nicholas, you okay? He doesn't look okay. Fate, why are you here? That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. I... I could not ask you to do this for us. Why not? Literally what I'm here for. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Must leave. This is bad. I better hurry. Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator. Or. Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my Enough. communicator. You could go back to the high tech room and get a battery and no destroy it that way. Hold on, Nicholas. I'll get you out. Hang in there, Nicholas. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Newt, newt. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. <laughs> Idiot. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. There was literally a room like down the corridor full of a bunch of equipment we could have used. Let's go. Freeze! Oh yeah? Buddy? So you must be Norton. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's me. I am Norton the Great. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that world. Right. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. <laughs> Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh, man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? 
That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys? They're dead, the poor fools. They were trying to send out a distress signal, and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> He's got, that like, full yellow eyes and, like, vampire teeth. But no use crying over spilt milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? <laughs> Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. The voice acting. Slash 10. I assume you went to type like 0 out of 10. Make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. <laughs> Guys like you. Huh? What the? Ah, uh, there you are. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It's a punch guy. You can tell with his knuckle thing. Well, then who are you? Cliff Fitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? You think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! All right, I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Has he got the eyeshadow on or is that just the outline around his eyes? God, I really don't want to die and have to redo this cutscenes and shit, so blueberry. What have I got? Right berries. Well, so much for that guy, but I did try to warn him. You were a good sp bullet sponge, Cliff. I appreciate it. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man. And he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Could be. Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Why? Well, this is about the only thing that still works. 
The rest is ruined. Here. Hey, a new communicator. Convenient. Is this mm. a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh, um, thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved me. Whoa there. Too quick. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just, my boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Just kidding, don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now, and I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. He sure was. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah, I do know what your old man Dr. Linegod was researching. You mean symbological genetics? My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right, symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind, that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendeen. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. <laughs> Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So, are you coming or not? Well, we gotta help Nicholas first. Okay, I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure, whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. Is the chest behind there or something? No. Okay. I promise. I won't let your efforts go to waste. You done? Okay, I'm gonna blow the place. Hey. Nice. Quick save a ring. Just to make sure. Oh, it should be easy with two people anyway. Looks like an even match.
Oh uh, no, this is it. What's up? What's up? I don't have to do that every time, do I? Wait, no, that's the way I just came from. You should be set to order now. What? An attack from behind? Wow. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. Oh, I need to stretch my leg. Oh. Okay. I don't see the point in fighting these enemies, they give you like 1 to 2 experience, or 1 to 4 experience, it seems so pointless. I will, however, buy some item, I'll buy some armor from the item shop before I leave, just to make sure I have some. up quick and get back here. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Don't keep me waiting too long, kid. Got it. Don't worry, he's just asleep. He wouldn't leave you alone, Mina. Really? Really? It's a pretty time for me to go out of tune Bye. music box. It's a nice wholesome family moment, isn't it? the dock
Uh, now she's nice to me and literally saved the fucking village. What a high standard is said. Like, we don't trust strangers. You go in there, save their village, because you kill the big bad guys and fuck with them. And they're like, mm, I guess I was wrong about you. Fuck you, dude. Change all the reservations are in the time occasion here. Skills, what have I gotten? I haven't leveled up again yet, apparently, so nothing to equip, that's fine. Oh, wins. Alright. Let's bounce. Escape pod. Our way out lies beyond there. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. No more slime fighting for me. Okay, so this was the correct way. I thought he said it was like roughly this way. With like a new path open or something. Doesn't look like it. I just didn't walk to the right side of it, apparently. Hey, it's me. We're at the location. Transport us up as soon as you can. Huh? Oh, no problem. I got him. I said it's okay. I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry. Oops. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. My ship's not so big, but it's packing a gravitic warp engine. It's quite the speed demon. Hey, Cliff? Yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why does Quark's leader want to meet with me? I'm just a college student from Earth! Oh, uh... No comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, it's not doing it for you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Let's see. Well, I guess the biggest reason would be our leader wants to chat with you? Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Why's your leader want to meet with me? Hey, how should I know? I just do what I'm told. There's probably something our leader wants to talk to you about. And that something is... Well, you'll just have to come with me and find out for yourself. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but I, I don't know much more than that. I don't like you have much of a choice, dude, unless you want to hang out on, like, 
planet with ungrateful elf creatures. The fucking tone deaf music box. Or do they see the spaceship, do they? The few minutes that it's in the sky? Yeah. Like that man, that bird was crazy. Well, let's get a move on. She'll be expecting us. The rendezvous point is beta seven four seven three seven two four zero six. You got that, Mirage? It's Mirage. Roger. They reuse that name a lot. Engaging In this series game. engines, gravitic warp core, normal. Yes, I think they do. This is the second time, please. Maybe the third. I remember if there's an NPC in the first one called Mirage. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. Mirage, this is our target. Yes, I knew right away. Nice to meet you, Fate. I'm Mirage Kos. N nice to meet you, too. She's beautiful. Fate, you okay? Oh, and listen, don't fall for her. She may look pretty, but she's a clausy. Any funny ideas, and you're liable to meet a swift yet painful death. Hey, wait a sec. Who said I was falling for anyone? <laughs> Relax, I was just warning you. I was wondering just how... Oh, uh, we'll be there soon. It's about three hours to the rendezvous point. Mirage, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm leaving you in charge. Oh, Cliff, it looks like you can forget that shower. Huh? What is it? I've just detected a gravitic space anomaly up ahead. I'm bringing us out of gravitic space to avoid it. You serious? You think it's hostile? Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man, it's bad enough having to worry about Federation ships. Open up a comm link. Hold on. Connection connected. Okay, the link's Bump open. Shit. Uh, <clears throat> this is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. You're wasting your time. The enemy ships are already prepared to attack. <laughs> Seems they know who we've got on board. Escape's our only hope. It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines, full power. Roger. Full power to rear shields. And let me see a chart for this region. All right. Course 116, mark 267. Activate auto evasion program. Fasten crew safety harnesses. 
Roger. Course entry complete. Speed maximum. Program activated. Um, that was right. It's a bit different working from home. Like, I don't have people around me. So it's like good hey, and bad, I guess. Feeling lucky, kid? Like. Um, We've evaded round one trying to think of the way to put it. It's nicer because I don't have to get like dressed out of normal clothes. I can just hang out and chill and trackies or whatever. All right. As soon as we're there, and the we're internet the network's war. fine. I think it's just more fun in a work environment because you can talk shit and just hang out while you work, kind of a thing. I got a hunch it'll function the moment we reach the objective. I mean, my missus works in the same room as me. She has a desk just like off screen this way. That way. But like, get us on a straight line between the ships. So I'm not alone or anything. It's just. But we won't be. Well, we're toast if we stay. It's different. I wouldn't say it's bad. I get to hang out with the dog too, and the cat. Anyhow, space is. You got a hunch? Roger. That's not too bad. I did it for the first part of um. The enemy's fired again. Four rounds. Now when we did the first lockdown last year, I was at, I was working from home for like six months or whatever. So. Four, huh? This is gonna. Be, now's oh. the time to pray, gentlemen. Unfortunately, it looks like we might lose the race. Here comes the first round now, and we're seven. I get very lazy with doing any sort of housework though. So I'm here all the time. Uh, I do try to keep the cleanest out. house as clean as possible. You bet it is. Activate gravitic warp. I'm wearing that hat for like three days. Feels weird without it on. We've thrown off the Vendini ships. <sighs> Whew. That was close. I bought it at the 7 Eleven because it's green and purple with a pom pom. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Yes, but now we're pretty far <sighs> from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Oh, my head is so, like, numb from wearing a hat. Besides, it won't hurt to make a way How you doing? You busier than normal, or still same? Time. Wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah. A healthy respect for your recklessness. Quieter? Uh, yeah, I guess a lot less people are coming in. A little in. more honesty would be nice. Everyone's in lockdown. Like, hey, that cliff sure is something. Or, you're a genius, Cliff. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. What is it, Mirage? The gravitic warp core is overheating. We should reduce speed immediately. The engine will scram if we don't. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? Both the conventional and gravitic warp engines have scrammed. The backup engine isn't functioning either. <laughs> I'd say we have a problem. Damn it! Okay, I'm still wearing hats all the time. Where are we now? Just so much more comfortable We're with a hat on. We're currently in gravitational field. Has... If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. 
Oh, my well, wedding got well, postponed. I'm sure she'll figure out something this whole thing. to us after we don't show up when we're supposed to. That's a thing so. that happened. Well, Mirage, come up with something. I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. <laughs> Great plan. Yeah. It's the way it be. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. You're as safe as... Uh, as a turtle in its shell. A turtle dropping out of orbit. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. Let me get some lemon drink. I'm back. into Elicor 2's atmosphere in another 30 seconds. Get ready for a bumpy ride, you two. And keep wagging those tongues and you'll bite them off. I wouldn't want either of you to die of blood loss. Got one an annoying noise to leave it on. Sorry. Kind of forgot the beepy to beeps were on. Yeah, touch it. Yeah, come here. My arm rests like I'm taking over. What is that thing? A star fallen from the sky? Nonsense. It looks nothing like a falling star. Well, what is it then? How am I supposed to know? Is this where I it? <laughs> Jesus. What are you doing? Just our luck. Oh, yeah. Uh, Odin, have you played Splitgate? We landed right in the middle of a city. They haven't got me to download it. It's pretty fun. It's like Halo mixed with Portal. It's free to play on Steam. You should be happy to be alive. I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP3. What do we do now? Uh. to ship into the middle of a city on an undeveloped planet. One just some violation of the UP3. Oh man. You know what? You worry too much. Are you worried? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. What kind of planet is Icor 3? Or Elicor 3? Second planet Elicor system has an axial tilt of 32.6 degrees and is 0.8 AUs from its planet star. Apparent star, the gravity is 0.9 G. And the fact the atmosphere is mostly comprised of noble gas, just neon instead of nitrogen, his atmospheric composition closely resembles Earth. According to data, the technology on this level is medieval Earth around the 17th century. Most planets registers Galactic Atlas. As under the planet appears to be constant state of conflict, there are no figures for the total population of sentient beings. Like an under the planet. Our expanding conversion. Current location. 
State life forms you live in this area, we've got detailed information like government, it's a pretty large city, night temperature is about minus five degrees Celsius, but falling in a positive snow detected city. You must know there are two major continents on this planet. One we're on now and the other one to the east. The continent to the east appears to be a slightly higher civilization level. Figure out anything else out. Ship's database contains no other information. I see. Oh, snooty soldier. Out of the way! Off the road! What's this? I've played a few games of Splitgate before on um, stream. It's actually really fun. But it's literally like Halo 3 combat, or Halo, yeah, Halo 3 gameplay mixed with portal. So you can portal around to certain, certain places. And it's completely arena based, like Halo. Um. The weapons play like Halo, you have sh regenerating shield health like Halo 3. We seem to be surrounded I don't know if you played Halo before, it's it's Halo with Portal. What will you do? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Not much we can do with I miss playing Halo. Like this. Fighting our way out isn't really an option. Well, at least we're still in one piece. For now, maybe. Oh well, let's just step outside and see what happens. Hold on just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact, rather forcefully anyway. <laughs> well, still. Ooh, hiccups. Don't worry. I've got a hunch they won't kill us right away. Another hunch? Come on, trust me. Didn't we make it here safely? I tell you, my hunches are always right. How about that time when we almost crashed into that asteroid because of a hunch? Oh, uh, but that was one time. One time. <laughs> At any rate, I don't think we have any other choice. What do you think they'll do? Well, we'll probably be taken prisoner. You say it like you don't even care. Yeah, but only you and I will go out. Huh? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. All alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a Clausia. She'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her in. <laughs> Want me to come rescue you? Nah, no need. There'll probably be too many of them anyway. We'll think of something. You scout around and find a way to contact the Diplo. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. If fate, fate is the person he's supposed to be escorting, wouldn't fate, fate and Mirage stay and just he get out? Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay. All right, let's go. When do we get real clothes, man? I'm sick of wearing this dumbass shirt. Hey, there's something moving. What? A person? There's people in there. Um, uh, get them. Wait, please. Give it up, kid. Nothing we can do. Give up? Look behind you. Huh? <laughs> well, what was it? Aeroglyph... What, 13? Jesus. We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. Oh, no, we have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon.
Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. Oh. What think you, Woltar? If this object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquaria has shown an admirable ability to wage war of late. Lord Woltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry, Albel's Black Brigade heavy cavalry, and my Winged Dragon Brigade for good measure. They stand no chance against our Legion, sire. Okay. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence would do us no harm. Right, Albel? <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Oh, I found the edge Regardless, Lord character. We have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My Al men have Bell. already begun to interrogate the crew map. They'll what does that name sound familiar war. from? The Inquisitor. He always seems to Oh, it's one of the Tales games. Um PS3 Tales game. He is the best. Pretty sure the main character's name in that was Albel. I think. We are no you speak absurdities. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. If they die as a result, then so be it. You've grown I think it was much one of the too Tales soft games. in your old age, Walter. God, there's a be games to play. What's the big I don't think I could stop in the first one, though. That's find out whether they're enemies or not. I guess none of them can really continue on from each other, though, so you can I'll kind of play them in any them. sequence you want. We know what we Maybe. Have to do, my Maybe we do the Tales don't games worry. at some point. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough before they croak, eh? I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to haggle over such matters. Indeed. It was when it's Wednesday today, yeah. I argue. Vox, continue your interrogation. Two more days. Woltar and Albel, return to your posts. We are counting on your knights. You are the pride of our great king. On the tails? What? What? Yes, yes sire. sire. What's... What do you mean, Undertales? <laughs> Why don't you just spit it out? No, they're like Tales of and then like random hey, country I name. Uh, I think I have one behind me. Wait, let me look. <laughs> Pull my pants up. Yep. Uh, so there's like. Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Zestria. Oh, I'll, I'll grab one of them. Yep. Oh, I'm in Ah, 
Ah, his name is Asbel. Okay. But they're like they're like this. So his name is Asbel, not Albel. They're like. I got a few of them. Yeah, they're just basically just action JRPG. Very similar to this game, actually. Just um, incredibly sized uh, fantasy, not much sci-fi. Why is like the guy who always has the bag over his head kind of like incredibly overweight? You know this one in the cell. Yes, sir. Kind of weird. Swinging power. I guess. Uh, bigger, like maybe if he was buff, sure. Being overweight, it's like, yo, you are kind of funny. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Cause like, I'm if it was like you know, a realistic looking game, and he swung the whip, he would all be like jiggly when he did it. It'd be pretty funny. Not super intimidated by like overweight people. You don't look fine. Look who's talking. Well, yeah, but I'm more used to torture than you are. <laughs> you're about to die. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. Oh, of like the jiggling fat guy? You yeah. You could say I've been around. Uh, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah, it would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? <laughs> yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt, too. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Say, do you know what Aquaria is? Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <sighs> Damn, they're too tight. I can't move at all. Um, that's why they call them restraints? 
Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. <laughs> I bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. Ugh. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Vendini captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. You'll see. And who would that somebody be? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. What? Who? Huh? Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. <laughs> hey! You have two options. Accept my conditions and live, or refuse and die here. It's your choice. Huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell in the town, correct? We want your technology. Our technology? We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well... I can't tell her about the UP3. How am I gonna explain this? And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. With our side victorious, of course. Hold of on. course. Your country? So, you're not one of the people that threw us in here? Why would she kill the guards if she was one of the people? God, fate no, is slow I'm on the uptake. Enabler. I'm from Aquaria. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning that name. Makes sense now. I bet it does. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Aeroglyph. Why not help me? Just say yes Good to boy. get out, Jesus we'll Christ. What are you saying? Give us a moment, all right? Shut your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? How a lighter works. Come on, you saw this civilization's level of technology? Look, all they need is a little college physics. And I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. Then again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like... Well... Just like who? Huh? Did I say something? Never mind, kid. <laughs> I'm minding. Jeez, forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, we must be in Aeroglyph right now. And this place is at war with her country, Aquaria. You with me so far? Yeah. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. Since a big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else could Even if we don't cooperate with her, Aerycliff will want our help too. I doubt their terms will be any better. Put my beanie back on. I miss wearing it. Oh, my wrist and elbow both just yeah. popped at the same time. That so felt saying, good. If we're gonna cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. I can't believe this. You're insane. <laughs> We're gonna cooperate with someone. Might as well be the hot chick okay, riding in let's there. Let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. We just want... Oops. We're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad? Huh? I figured you'd want to meet him in this life, not the next. All right. 
you win for now. Yeah, I don't understand why he's freaking out. You just promise to do something and then you just don't deliver on it so you can get out of a situation. It's not that difficult. Okay, I want your help. Sure, we'll help you get us out. You leave. Alright. Do you guys under understand like quantum mechanics? What? Okay. Here's a lighter. Re reverse engineer that. What did she just do? You're free. Thanks for getting us out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us too? Don't move. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. Okay. Huh? You Show said you to cooperate with us. Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Oh, it's yeah. big talk. Hey, she heard us. I should thank you for calling me hot, though chick I can live without. Scary. <laughs> I'm Nell Zelfer, agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. My name's Fate Lingard, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff. My pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here in? What do we tell her? Just follow my lead. I'll handle this. Oh god. Yeah, sure. We're from a country on a continent far to the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it. But we've got some pretty solid technology. From the east? One of the countries in Greeton? Not the country that invaded Aquaria. Is that what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Aeroglyph? Well, the long story would take all day, so I'll give you the short version. Fate's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. Then we ended up here. It works out. He sure is a smooth talker, and not all of it is lies, either. So you are from Greeton, I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. <laughs> well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aeroglyph have you. You must cooperate with us. Sure. Now. That's your name, right? Yes. What do you mean by cooperate? What technology did you want exactly? Yes, well... What's going on down here? Hey, you... What? They're changing the guard already? You two, you have any fighting experience? Sure. Huh? Why? Because you're about to get some. <laughs> Don't you worry about us. You could say we're above average. You might be able to fight with your bare hands, but I need some kind of weapon. I thought this might happen. In there. What's this? Your stuff. I got it back for you. Okay, man. Have a good night. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Fate, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. Hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hey, I got the normal outfit, finally. Holy crap, that took forever. It would be but a nuisance flee, but you can don't worry about us, okay? You wear your arm soldiers lightweight for you. 
He was not wrong. So injured, holy shit. Jesus Christ. That fight was rougher than I thought it was going to be. May also because I was kind of not paying attention, but... It was much harder than I thought it was going to be. Don't complain. If we can get through there, it widens out a bit. We'll just have to squeeze through that first part. Ah, like always. Yeah, yeah. Faith, you go first. I'll bring up the rear. Where are we? We're in the aqueducts that wind their way under the city. Aqueducts, huh? Yes. Hey, it's all frozen over. Because we're in an ice it's country. A surprise to you? It is winter in Aeryglyph. Didn't you see the snow falling outside? Hmm. Good point. Careful. You're no good to us if you fall in the water and freeze to death. Scary. Let's get moving. This way leads to the city if we can make it through. Do I need to res her? Are we full healed? Nope, definitely need a res. What does this do? Learn common sport symbols, battle skill. Sure. Wait, does that mean I can just heal people? Um. He did learn healing, that's awesome. That's so cool, I didn't realize that that's what that did. That is nifty, I didn't, that's so cool. You can just teach that to anyone. I'm kind of glad I gave it to me. Does that fully heal me? Did I just waste a bunch of shit? You bet it did. Oh my god. Uh, so what I get for being cautious. that one common attack symbols fuck yeah oh my main character to be able to do shit why not fuck yeah Yeah. 
You still get bulls experience for everything though. Okay, so that's that way. What's down this way? Oh, fish respawn. So this was just an extra area for a chest. Nice, I got some equipment finally. Fuck yeah. Actually, to put those on in battle for battles, that's I mean, it's kind of cool, but kind of not at the same time. All right, well, I've got aerial now for the time being. Sixteen, almost there. And get both these up one. I'm saving it. Really confused by that for some reason I'm just not able to see it properly oh. uh, which is the way you reckon is this way or is this way just a more random item yeah item oh cool another res, another like res item that's good the hell is this thing Goblins? No, they're like hyena creatures. One experience point, Jesus Christ. Alright, now the frog in a circle armor is deck one. An attack from behind? Yeah, yeah frogs. Okay. the way I wanted me to go. Hmm. 
No. God damn it. Okay, so maybe this is the way. Oh, that was an enemy. I didn't even see him there. I'm starting to fall asleep. Holy shit. Kill stealing 101. I'm getting so tired. I'm still like exercising or something so I can just get my brain stretched. Alright, so this is the correct way. Hey, what's wrong? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it next save point. Holy shit, why am I so tired today? I probably because I've been having less sugar, less no energy drinks, just a lot of water. Alright. We did a good chunk. We'll come back to it tomorrow. I might start doing like two days a week or three days a week like this stuff and then one day a week like chill other games so we can take a break and not get too fried on them but who knows anyway thanks for hanging out and chatting people i did save that right i'm gonna i'm gonna triple save just in case right. thanks for hanging out people i'll come back to it oh, i don't know why i'm so tired it's crazy um, we'll come back to it tomorrow. And go from there. Okay? Alright. Catch you later. Bye. Have a good night.